Hello, YouTube. <clears throat> so I got everything back together on the uh, on the Honda after the AIM ECU install. I ended up rerouting a lot of these wires here. Um, they were just bugging me, so I I actually zip tied around the frame, and that works good. You can see it's really away from the radiator now. But uh, first ride on the road, I didn't really notice. It was about maybe a 25% improvement. And then once I got to the dirt, that's when I noticed a massive improvement. Um, overall, I'd have to say it's 50% better. Um, and it's not 100% better in my mind, um, but it's definitely 50% better. So right now, the map that I'm running, let me start it. really noticed a difference um, where I'm at right now it's kind of a mixture of you know hard dirt and there's a lot of rock gardens so the, the thing the big thing that I did notice with this which is worth its weight in gold is it will tractor it will tractor um, it will stall what I found it will stall at if you're at five miles an hour and below so right at five miles an hour is where it starts cutting out the stall um, you know, of course, depending on your the uh, the angle of the bike, whether you're climbing or descending or whatnot. But just on level ground, I guess five mile an hour, five miles an hour is what I found where it'll 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 want it'll start to stall. But I cannot believe that. I mean, I I just crawled. I purposely tried to stall it several times coming up here, and it and it wouldn't stall. Like I said, there's a lot of rock gardens. There's some right there. Let me see if I can zoom in. And some of them are pretty gnarly. This area is all, um, this area in Albuquerque, it's called the Three Sisters area because of, these are the exits, um, the exhaust ports, if you will, of volcanoes and the actual volcanoes are in grants from my understanding. So this is all lava rock down here. So it's really good area for me to practice in terms of the technical stuff. I really like it up here with this and my KTM. I come up here to practice a lot. If you could see if I zoom in over there, just black lava rock so it's good because like I said it really will you know hones in my skills for practicing but just a quick update on this computer I am pretty impressed so far and I've only run it on map map 5 and map and traction control I have not adjusted the uh, the high medium low as far as the uh, the throttle range uh, I haven't messed with the uh, it has a launch capability um, a launch mode which I need to uh, check out there's a plane flying there's a close uh, um, kind of doesn't get any, uh, where'd you go plane oh, there it is anyways um, I haven't messed with those two things yet so I still have a lot to learn about this but I just wanted to provide initial and up update is it worth the money for the Honda I mean yes absolutely like I said it's it's not a hundred percent but it's definitely uh, I, if I had to say 50%, you know, opinions are going to, that's my opinion, right? Opinions are going to vary with, you know, the setup I have with my sprocket. It's a stock um, 52, I think. I have a 51 I'm going to put on there. So, I mean, all that will, will factor in, but just overall, yes, it's, I think it's, it's definitely worth it. Um, mainly this one um, is because um, uh, his name is uh, Doug, his channel is Born born a goon and he's he said and i validated that that yeah takamoto will continue to provide uh firmware updates for this ecu going forward which is which is great right you know we can we can do it ourselves with our laptop you're just going to have to get that adapter the interface that connects to the um to the ecu to the uh to your laptop and then you could you can update your uh, your firmware but pretty impressed so far it's definitely a more enjoyable bike i'll say that so that was it, guys. If you guys have any other questions, let me know as far as, like, wire routing or, like I said, I did redo it. This thing was driving me crazy, so I, I routed it through this, this, um, 
clamp right or this this clamp fitting whatever you want to call it here so it's nice and nice and tidy now i'm 100 percent confident i feel warm and fuzzy about it and that's kind of what i was after so um any questions at all uh let me know guys all right take care